so this will be our final segment of the day here on Palace TV. Um, we're fortunate enough in Gallia County to have amazing partners and they, they really supported us in so many different areas, whether it's our neighbors and tractor supply and, and rent a center and what they've done. And, and then some of our community partners with field of hope. And, and this is no different with what we've been able to bring you here on Thursdays and, and Mr. Scott King joining us who typically would um, do some self-defense course and, and martial arts classes in our, our Gallia program. But now since everything's remote, he's kind of taken on a different approach. And that's been fantastic because we've been able to connect in a way that empowers each of you to, to stand up for yourselves and really understand um, the, the risks that are out there to you. Right. And, and knowing your surroundings, um, knowing how to handle strangers in certain situations. And, and Scott's done a tremendous job of really just educating us all on just making sure that we're careful and we're safe, especially in these times, because you see that a lot right now where people are trying to take advantage of others. And we don't want that. And allowing ourselves to to stand up and speak up and be advocates really stops that from happening and it, it stops those bad people from trying to, to take advantage of others and we want to make sure that you're all doing that and you're staying safe um so really appreciate those tips and i know scott's going to be joining us shortly but just to kick it off um dave is going to be joining us from donnie's home actually we're very happy to have donnie here today for the first time on pals tv um, Donnie does so many amazing things down at our program. Um, he has a wonderful voice too. I actually had the pleasure of listening to him uh, sing and, and do some performances at uh, Camp Pals. So it was really cool and we, uh, we appreciated that. So Donnie and Dave, how are you guys doing this afternoon? Doing good. Good. I was talking over Donnie. Uh, we're doing good. We, uh, we're here at Donnie's, uh, we're Donnie's uh, apartment. He's here with his uh, staff, Josh. And uh, um, so we're just kind of introducing Donnie to Pals TV. Who here has really enjoyed the experience of Pals TV so far? Wait, give me a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up if you've liked what we've okay. given you so far. Everybody enjoying Pals TV? Great. Um, so anyways, Ami's joining us today and, uh, Scott's going to be here in a little bit. But, um, so John, Donnie was, we're just going to talk a little bit about what goes on at Powell Gallia County and some of the experiences Donnie's had there and some of the neat things that he's done with us. And so Donnie, how long have you been with Powell Gallia? When did I come back? Um, I think you joined back from the pals and they took over about two and a half years ago. So Donnie was with, with, with another provider for his date services and he heard about all the really cool fun things going on with pals so he decided to come back and join us and so since Donnie came back and joined us um, he's done a lot of really fun things. What's some of the fun things you've done with Pal Gaia since you came back Donnie? Uh, mowing grass. Okay. Playing basketball. <clears throat> And uh, doing ceramics and uh, doing a lot of things, and I like it. And uh, getting out in the community and stuff, and I had a job and everything. And I work at Roadside Rest and uh, still work at Piles and everything. So, what, is, what do you do at the Roadside Rest? I mow grass and I work clean inside and everything and clean windows and and do garbage and everything. So Donnie's a pretty busy guy when he, he, he comes a couple of days a week to uh, work with the mowing crew and some of the janitorial crews and then he also works uh, a lot of hours during the week at the roadside rest and so he's got a pretty full uh, schedule during the week and then he sometimes he'll take a day or two to come and just do something really fun like an outing or uh, just uh, hang out 
out with everybody and watch movies all day when the weather's bad and just uh, enjoy a day with his friends there. Um, so Joe Donnie's also been involved with our self-advocacy group and um, been pretty active with that. He also, you also, you're part of several, several self-advocacy groups, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so uh, he's part of the Palagalli County self-advocacy group and he's also connected with uh, People First of Gallia County. Mm -hmm. um, Don, last year, Donnie went with a group to Columbus. Remember that? We went to Columbus State House on the yeah. Awareness Day. He got to meet our state representatives. Uh, got to meet a lot of our peers of the other programs from Powell and just a lot of really nice people and uh, inter interesting people in Columbus. Um, what else do you like about Powell, Don? I, I love Powell. The, they really treat me real nice. And, yeah. yeah. So, um, this team was on the basketball team, the, the Powell Thunder, and he's telling me well, how many games did we lose this year? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> he says we won, we won a couple. Um, but, um, so he, he's been a part of actually when, uh, our program went from Powell's to the other program. We didn't really have a basketball team, but Donnie was one of the folks that stepped in and decided to help build it back and put it back together. Um, so, yeah, Donnie's done a lot of things. And Donnie, he's, he's a strong voice in our self-advocacy group. Um, if Donnie, if there's something Donnie wants us to change or he doesn't like, boy, he will tell you in a heartbeat. So, um that's kind of one of the reasons Donnie's here with us today, actually, is, is he, he's actually got through some of Scott's trainings. And so uh, Donnie's gleaned a lot from what Scott has offered to teach us. And so, uh, you know, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for Donnie to sit in with us today and, and, and see Scott again. So everybody that's been on here, who all has uh, been a part of Scott's classes the past few weeks? Can you give me a hands up? or a thumbs up if you have been. Okay. Um, can you guys hear me? Wave at me if you can hear me. Can you, can you hear me out there? Wave at me if you can hear me. Okay, I got a thumbs up. Somebody hears me. <laughs> Eric, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Dave. We just can't see you right now. So you're fine, though. We can hear you. You're coming through. You see me? Okay. 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 Gotcha. Um, it says on. It says my screen's on. So. Okay. I just kind of yeah, worried because. Option and, and where you're yeah. at. Okay. So. so anyways, uh, it may it may be my internet. Okay. I will um, try to log on my phone too here in just a second, but. Anyways, uh, Donnie's been a, a real strong part of our self-advocacy, and um, who there, give me a thumbs up if you're a part of your self-advocacy group in your program. I, yeah, I think about half of everyone. Yeah. One, two. Okay. So, mm -hmm. if you're kind of curious what what programs are you guys from can can someone shout out where you're from do a little shout out representation there if you're from uh columbus give me a thumbs up okay i see oh two thumbs all right uh if you're from aotl give me a thumbs up i see your thumb how about he We have two from Heath on here right now. Heath, who's from Heath? All right, how about I see you looking at me, Crystal. How about Caddis? Uh, the Caddis crew is not. They finished off their day. And then. What about Steubenville? It'd be Kristen. She's representing for Steubenville. All right. All right. All right. 
Chris Nye. So is there anything for those who have joined us with Scott? Has is there anything anybody wants has has kind of like wants to go back and talk about that something that's really stuck with you? Anybody think of anything? Because he always likes to go back and kind of circle back and test you. So I'm going to help you guys out before he gets on. Um, what's the say? What's he always saying? The best way to stay out of a situation is. Don't be there. That's right. And I see it looks like he just popped on there. <laughs> so um, as soon as Scott gets set up there, we'll let him uh, take over. And somebody could unmute his mic. There he is. Hey, Scott. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, good. We were just talking about, uh, we have a guest here today joining us, but uh, I'm just uh, sometimes you like to go back and kind of find out what people's, uh, if, if people's paid attention and you kind of go back and ask them some questions. And so we're kind of, I was kind of cheating a little bit, getting them some, <laughs> some answers. So, uh, and the question was, is the best way to stay out of a situation is don't be there. Don't be there. That, yeah, review was on my notes today. All right, well, I'm going I'm to stay back here. My phone or our computer's locked, and that's so I'll go ahead and let you take over from here. Okay, are we, are we, are we all together? Yes. Hi, everybody. There we go. Hey. Okay, I know you can hear me. I see everyone waving. <laughs> hey, God, there's Alex. Okay, all right. Hey, how you doing, guys? Okay. All right. Look. Hi. Hey, we got to get moving today. We've got we got to like a we got to get moving because we got like a short session today. Um. And I want to do a quick review with you to see where we're at on this. And then I've got some questions I wanna ask you. So, and then we've got, we've just got some really cool stuff we've gotta get covered today, okay? Today's topic is gonna be establishing boundaries and taking action and, and some of the things we can do. But before we get there, what's the best self-defense? Out of everything we've talked about, what's the best self-defense? I love that. I got CJ down there, we're going boom. Get out of there. Don't be there. If we can recognize a problem happening around us, then we take action. You know, we, we, we just get out of there. It's the same thing. Okay, let's say we're in a building and we smell smoke and we see smoke coming wow. maybe from under a door in one of the rooms. Do we just hang around there? We get out. No, we get out of there. So this self-defense is the same thing, self-protection. Well, if we go in somewhere and we see a rowdy bunch of people or someone just acting strange uh, or anything that makes us uncomfortable, then there should be a little warning system that's built into us that says, you know what? I've been trained in this and I know that the best self-protection is don't be there, get out of there. Okay, and now one of the other things we've covered is the 10 second game. Do you guys remember the 10 second game? Okay, I see heads nodding, yeah. All right, good. 10 second game, we call it that because it takes about 10 seconds to play or less. What's the first thing I'm looking for when I walk in somewhere? When I'm just scanning the room, looking around, what's the, what's the first thing I wanna take note of? Do I wanna know where the pop machine is? Probably not. CJ's got her hand up. CJ, let's hear it. The exits. Yes, excellent, boom. Fist bump for you on that, good job. I wanna know where the doorways, the exits and the entrances are. Cause number one, I wanna know how to get out of there cause the best self defenses don't be there. Number two, I wanna keep an eye on who's coming in the room, you know? Because of bad things that happen in the world. Um, and you know, it's not like the movies where 
the bad guys, they chop a hole through the ceiling and come lowering down on a rope and then they start doing their violence. In real life, you know where they come in the room at? Right through the same door we used. So excellent work on that. I wanna know, first thing, where my doorways, my entrances and exits are. Second thing I'm looking for, someone give me the second thing. I wanna know that you know. I'll give you a little hint. Anyone that makes us feel, and I'm waiting. CJ's got her hand up again. She's ready. Uncomfortable. Oh, you are excellent. Two fist bumps for that, thank you. Anyone that makes us feel uncomfortable. Now, uncomfortable is a really, really big word that can have a lot of definitions, right? But it's anyone that makes us feel weird or nervous or uneasy or a little scared. And you know what? There's no right or wrong answer here. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, then it is the right answer. And we pay attention to that. First thing, doorways, exits. Second thing, anyone in that room or comes into that room later that makes us feel weird, maybe the way they're acting or whatever, or the way they're looking at us or something they've said. If it makes us feel uncomfortable, the best self-defense, don't be there. Okay, now, this time on the third and final one, I'm gonna make sure that each one of you answer this. And we are not moving on until you get this one. The third thing I'm looking for is any tool I can use that I can use to protect and defend myself. Right now, in my hand, I just happen to have an ink pen. I want you to show me what your tools are right now. Alex, you've got a fist out. Come on, show me a tool. What do I see right down here with CJ? What do we got? I see something. What is that though? Kristen, come on, let's see those tools. I wanna to see, look around your room, that's okay. It's okay if you don't have it right on you. I just wanna look around to see if there's something I can use. Like, ah, oh, okay, there's something. Back off, boom. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Can you guys see what she's holding up? It's a little, it's a little baseball bat. Oh, Alex, you've got a hammer. Oh my goodness. You guys are like the perfect group. I mean, you get it. You get it so good. Excellent. Okay, two down, two to go. Kristen, you are not getting off the hook here. I wanna see what you got. Show me something. Now someone has joined us down here on the left, but I, I can't, I don't know who it is. So is there anything I can use? Anything in that room you see right now you could run to? Yes, I'll accept that. That's perfect. You could take that and bash, boom. Excellent. Okay, good deal. So let's get moving here. So we know what the 10 second game is and you guys have already played it. We know where the doorways exits are. Anyone that makes us feel uncomfortable and because you are just so excellent, you already know, you've already identified stuff in the room you're in right now that you could use to protect and defend yourself. Okay, we wanna move on. Uh, let's see, I wanna make sure we don't do anything. Hey, last week, Last week, for those of you here, we, we had, it was, it was kind of a tough conversation we had, but it was good touches and bad touches. And um, I'm just gonna sum that up. Who, who is in control of your body? Just point, if the person is in the room that's in control of your body, just point to them. <laughs> yes, you are all pointing to yourself. Excellent, excellent. You are in control of your body. Nobody else, nobody else. And we're gonna talk about some stuff here in just a second that kinda of goes along with that too. Okay, you're the boss yourself. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, it's okay. Oh, here's one for you, here's one. We talked about um, how to sort of carry ourselves, how to conduct ourselves, and if we're in some place and we're using the second rule, anyone that makes us feel uncomfortable will say, oh, they're, that guy makes me feel weird or that woman makes me feel weird. That person is doing something I don't like. 
and they start coming toward us. Um, now, it's always good, and we know, you guys know this, it's always good to be polite, good morning, how are you, thank you very much, and all that. But if someone makes us feel uncomfortable, is it okay to be rude to them as you, as you take control of your space? If you agree, thumbs up. Uh, I got two thumbs up from Mallory. I got the thumbs up all over the place. If we ever feel threatened, it's okay to be rude. Hey, close enough. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's, you know what? Let's know we mean business. How about if you walk up on a dog and this dog doesn't know you? Maybe it's the first time you've seen it. And he's just sort of standing there and his, his tail's not really wagging, but he's just sort of thinking, is this person going to be nice to me or is this person going to be mean to me? And you go closer. What do those dogs sometimes do to kind of give you a signal that, whoa, whoa, close enough. I, that means business. What do they do? Kristen's got her hand up. CJ's got her hand up. Alex is going, okay. Yeah, what do they do? Someone tell me. When, um, when dogs um, try to uh, smell you, if you're a good person or not good person, they walk away from you. <laughs> yeah, I like it. You know what some dogs do? They go like this. I hope you guys can hear me. They'll go. They growl. When a dog growls at us, when a, when a dog growls at us, what, what does that tell us? Whoa, whoa, whoa. If I go any closer, he might bite. Okay, so the reason I want to bring that up is because it goes back. The dog didn't mean to be rude. It's probably a great dog. But you know what? That dog doesn't know you. And it doesn't know what your intentions are, if you're good or bad. And you keep coming closer. You know what? He's going to be a little rude to you until he feels more comfortable. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Come here. Come here. I'm just here to pet you. Oh, you're a good dog. And then he'll kind of wag it and maybe he'll come up. If he keeps growling, you know what? We stay away. And it's the same thing with us. If someone comes into our space and we don't know or they make us feel uncomfortable, yeah, it's okay to be rude. It's okay to growl at them. Okay. I really want to get to today's stuff. Are you guys ready? Okay. Establishing boundaries and, and taking action is what we're going to be talking about today. So when I say boundaries, um, it's really a lot of things. So, so let, let's start out on, let's start out like this. Let's start out with personal boundaries, like boundaries of our heart and how we're going to be treated. And then we're going to talk about physical boundaries, like back to the dog growling. You know, you can't get real close to that dog he gets to know you feels comfortable boundaries let's say i work with somebody and um every day they're kind of mean and 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 uh they're kind of disrespectful um and they say hey what's up baldy is that as fast as you can go what's wrong with you baldy you're not very smart, are you, Baldy? Now, I know we're all friends, so none of you guys would talk to me like that. But is it okay to talk to someone like that? Yeah, absolutely not. We're all shaking our heads no. And I know that you guys don't do that. I know because I know your hearts are good. My heart's good. That's why we're friends. But sometimes... Is it okay for anybody else to talk to us like that? Do, in other words, do we have to take that kind of uh, people talking to us like that? What do you guys think? Good. I'm getting a thumbs down. I agree. I'm getting a head shake. No. I think Alex is saying no. Yeah, no. We're not going to let anybody talk down to us or, or break our, our, our happy spirits or make us think that we're less because we're not. Actually, you guys are more. But we have to establish boundaries. And sometimes if, if we 
you know, if we're in a mall or in a McDonald's or in a Walmart or in a movie theater or on a, on a field trip to the zoo or Kings Island or somewhere, when people begin to behave that way around us, we already know, we already know that the best self-defense is don't be there. But the reason I want to talk about this now, bring it up again, sometimes if we're at work, you know, the places we, we kind of have to be there, maybe we're at school, so we're a place we have to be. So we got to be around this person a lot. And we've already agreed that they can't talk to us that way. We are not going to take that, even for ourselves. That might, they may just be a they might just be a mean person. Maybe they're just having a bad day. I don't know. But you know something? You're not going to treat me that way. You're not going to treat me that way, and I'm not going to stand for it. Guess what? We just set a boundary. We just established the rules now of the way that we're going to accept, the way we're going to be treated. And people are not going to talk to us bad. Boundary number one. We are not going to be talked down to. We're not going to be mistreated. We've already learned last week about touching, pushing, shoving, pinching, slapping. Do we have to take that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. So there's the first boundary. And that's more of a, um, you know, that's more of a boundary that comes from inside us, our self-pride, our confidence, the way we feel power from ourselves. We're recognizing our own self-value and self-worth. And we think so highly of ourselves. Guess what? You're not going to treat me that way. You are not going to call me names. You are not going to talk down to me. You're not going to make fun of me. If I could get up and leave, I would. But guess what? We've got to be together. So I need you to understand, here's my rules. And you're not going to do that to me. That's how we handle it. If they keep doing it. If they keep talking bad to us, if they keep, if someone keeps talking bad to us and doing things that we don't like or makes us feel uncomfortable after we've told them not to, after we've told them not to and they keep doing it, do you think things are going to get better or worse? How many thinks they're going to get, eventually they'll just get worse unless we do something about it? Yep, everyone's in agreement. So we've already told them to stop. Unacceptable, not today, not with me, buddy. If they keep doing it, you remember last week we talked about reporting, letting someone know. Do you think that would be a good time to let someone know that, hey, that person over there that I've got to work with every day, we'll call them, we'll call them uh, Tina. Tina keeps calling me names, keeps talking down to me making fun of me, making fun of my bald head. And I've told Tina that I don't appreciate that, and I've told her to stop. But she keeps doing it. And I don't want any problems, so I'm coming to you to tell you. Maybe it's your supervisor. Maybe it's your caregiver. Maybe it's one of your best friends at work. So would that be, do you think that would be a, a good way to, help handle, uh, help get this problem solved? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes. Okay, I wanna talk about another boundary right now before, because we're already ticking away here. Don't worry, whatever we don't get today, we're gonna to get to next week, because I've got lots of material for us to cover coming up. Okay, that boundary we just talked about was what we accept in our mind and in our heart not treat me that way. But guess what? There is another kind of boundary I want, to, I, want to, I, want to, I want us to learn together today. And it's the space around us. It's the space around us. Now, for someone, for someone to uh, hit me or kick me or slap me or pinch me or all the other kind of things, you know, pull me and all the kind of things we talked about, I can't reach through here and and grab your shirt or pull your hair. You can't pull mine because I don't have any. <laughs> but I can't reach through here. I've got to be close enough to you to do that, and I've got to be next to you, don't I? So the space around us, the space that's around us here, is really important when it comes 
to helping protect ourselves. So let's go back to the mall or Walmart or somewhere. We're in a group of people. Maybe we're standing in line for whatever reason. And we, we kind of have people around us. You know, when I used to work in Washington, D.C., I used to have to ride the, um, the metro. It's like a subway back and forth. And people would just get so packed in there. And you were just, everyone was right up against you. And you could feel them pushing you this way and then that way. And, man, I didn't like that. The only people I like close to me are you guys and my friends. But when I'm like that, I, I get kind of like, I feel uncomfortable. So we want, if we're able to, we always want to try and protect our space around us. Because we understand if people have a bad intention and they want to do something bad to us, harmful, or it could hurt us, they've got to get close enough to do it, you know? Even if they've got the ball bat, like CJ had, still from across the room, they've got to get close enough to use that kind of stuff. So here's one thing we want to do. If we can recognize the situation in advance and we see, we see the problem coming from way out there, uh-oh, here they come. Here comes that group of people, those rowdy kids or whatever. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Now they're looking at me and they're pointing at me. Um, oh, wow. Here they come. Here they come. We take our hands. You know what I would like to do, but I can't, is I'd like to have a bunch of bricks and I could build a wall. I wasn't going to throw them. Not yet. But I could build a wall between me and the problem. We don't always have that handy, but we do have our hands all the time handy, okay? So one way to take those hands up and say, hey, it's close enough. Back up a little, back up, stay away from me. That's our wall. We build the wall. Everyone, I want you to put your, build your wall for me. Let me see your wall, okay? I got CJ going. Kristen and Alex, I see you guys. There's, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let me throw, let me throw a little curveball at you, okay? You guys can all see me okay, right? You see my wall? It's close enough. Back off. Let me give you another version. That's close enough. Back off. Number one. Number two. Which one of those looks like, I want to fight. I want to fight you. This one or this one? Yeah. Number two. You guys are all saying number two. Absolutely. So if I said, hey, get away from me. And regardless of what my power words are, the person coming toward me, you know what they're going to see and what they're going to process is this. Oh, yeah. And they're going to think they're ready to fight. They're ready to fight. They, they want to fight. They, they want to do this. But if I do this, hey, that's close enough. Stay away. Back off. Stop. Does this kind of, does using our hands like this versus this send a little bit different message? Yeah, it just lets them know, like, look, I don't want any trouble. I just want you to back up, okay? I can hear you from there. What do you need? Go away or I'm going to yell for help, you know, you, and you can do this. So I want you to be sure when you build your wall, always build it like this. But in order to build a good wall, we've got to see what's going on around us. That's, where, that's why the 10-second game is so important. So knowing what's going on around us, through the 10 second game, phew, that's so important. So we've got the wall built. We establish boundaries. By doing the wall, that means we're taking charge. Remember our space around us? Now, when I was in Washington back on the subway, when the doors opened, it was my turn to get on, and there were so many people that they were almost coming out, but I had to get on. Me doing this probably wouldn't have worked. Back off, let me on the subway. Back on. They'd have thought I was, I had gone crazy. So I would just have to squeeze in. But it's when we feel threatened, when someone makes us feel uncomfortable, 
and maybe they're they're getting too close to us, you know, and it makes us eh, the weebie jeebies back off, stay away. Now, while we're here, I want to talk about the words. We've talked about words last week, and let me remind you of what some of those words were. We talked about the word stop, and well, we talked about the power of words. Remember how we, we mentioned the, um, if a fire truck went by right now while we're all sitting here together on Zoom, how would we know? How would we know a fire truck just went by our house? CJ. Noise. Yeah, it turns its siren on, doesn't it? Because it wants people to look at it. You know, it wants to attract attention. And people here say, oh, wow, I just heard a fire truck. Yeah, there it goes. But we're all enjoying our time together this week. And if that fire truck didn't have a siren on, we'd never know. Well, we kind of have the same thing in us, you know. We don't go like a siren. That sounded more like a cat. But we have the power to make noise. And the noise we make is, is really like power words, okay? So it's okay to tell people what we want them to do, what we insist that they do, because we have power over ourselves. So here we go, putting up the wall. What if, you were, what if you were coming toward me? What if you were angry with me or whatever? And let's pretend we don't know each other and we're, we're not uh, friends. And I seen you coming toward me and you had a really grouchy look on your face. I thought, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. And I just did like this. You might think I'm a little crazy. And you might think, well, he wants me to, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's one of those people that waves with both hands. I don't know. How would I let you know what I wanted you to do for sure? I'd use the power of my words. I would turn my siren on. Only instead of making a siren sound, I would use really strong words like the ones we talked about a moment ago. Back off, stay away, stop. Okay? You know, the word stop is really, is really powerful, okay? We have, to, we have to communicate that. We have to let those people know what we want them to do. And it also attracts attention to ourselves, which reminds me, if I have to do this, what might be the best way to do it? Stop. Go away. Back off. Or do you think this would be better? Hey, back off. Stop. Get back. Which one sounded like I really meant business here? I'm not to be messed with. Number two. Thanks, guys. Yeah. If we're riding in a car, and we come up to the green light, what do we do? Yeah, you can point or you can, I can read, I can read your, your, your mouth. I can see you're saying go. Yeah. Yeah. We just keep cruising all through. But if we come up to the light and it turns red, then what do we do? We stop. Yeah, we stop. Okay. Now, the reason I want to bring this up is if we come up to this light and we catch a red light, and we don't stop, we keep going, what happens? What could happen? Kristen? Get you. Get yeah, you. this. This will happen. <clears throat> Crash, you're gonna hit the side. Okay, hold that thought. Now, I come back here. Stop. Think of this as a red light. If that person doesn't stop and they keep coming, what might you have to do? Ah. 
let me remind you, if we're in a car and we catch a red light and we decide to drive through that red light, what might, if we don't stop at that red light like it tells us to and we drive through, what might happen to us? <laughs> Alex's hand is up. I want to hear what you got to say, man. Mm, crash. Yeah, we're going to get in a crash because we didn't stop when the light told us to. If someone's coming toward us, we throw a red light up, our wall, stop. We tell them, boom, stop. And they don't do it. What could happen to them? Let me see if you know. They could get into a crash, couldn't they? Boom, bam. I warned you, get back. So that's the power of words. That's the power of our wall. I've got some other power words listed here. How about, now, I want you guys to be thinking of your own, okay? Because I'm going to call on you. I'm going to warn you now. I'm going to call on you in just a minute. And I want to hear what your power words are. And then I'm going to write them down. So that way, when I go around to different parts of the state and I visit all you guys, I'm going to have your words written down. My power words. Leave. Go away. Stay back. Stop. Help, 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 help. I want to hear what you've got now. All right, here we go. Let me hear your power words. CJ, let's hear it. Don't be my bu bubble. Get out of my bubble? Yeah, get out of my bubble. Get out of my bubble. Stay out of my bubble. Okay. Give me some more. I'm, I'm checking CJ's off. Go ahead. Alex, do it. Let me hear you. Uh, stay in your lane. Stay in your own lane. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Let me catch up with you guys. Stay out of... Stay out of my bubble. Stay. Okay, good. Kristen, your word, please. Leave me alone and stay out of my zone. Leave me alone, stay out of my zone. Stay out of my zone. Excellent. Okay. Crystal, are you up there? Hi, do you have a power? Do you have a power word for us you can share? Uh. <laughs> how about, hey Crystal, how about um, how about maybe like call nine one one? Would that would that work, guys? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Call 911. We're going with that one then. Okay. Oh boy, I'm seeing Aaron come on. I'm seeing people. Okay. I got one more thing. One more thing. One more thing, real quick. If we ever have to use our wall, should we let somebody know the first chance we get? Yeah. Yeah, we always want to report it. You know, hey, so-and-so, man, I was at the movie today, and this guy came up, or this person came up, and I had to say, get back. It's always good. Let somebody know. Let somebody, let your caregivers, let someone uh, who you love and who loves you know, okay? All right. Review one more time. Remember last week we talked about good touching, bad touching? Do we keep secrets? Do we keep any secrets from anybody on that kind of stuff? Kristen's hands is up. Let me hear what you got to say, kiddo. If, there, I, if, the, if you keep the secret, you have to tell somebody if there's something is wrong. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, no secrets. Well, what if I said, hey, 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 look. We're friends. 
just keep this between us and I'm going to, I'm going to buy you something really nice. Okay. But just don't tell anybody. Should we fall for that old trick? No. If anybody touches us in the bad spots and we talked about the bad spots, remember bad spots. If anybody touches us there without our consent, because we have control of our bodies, we tell. We let someone know. Do you guys agree with me? Let me see your thumbs up, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of thumbs up on that. I love it. Okay. That's all we've got today. Let me tell you what's going on happen next week. Protecting yourself. We're going to be talking about our helmet and a boulder, all right? The helmet and the boulder. I'll explain it all next Thursday. I can't wait. Thank you. you guys have a good week. Okay. Mr. Mr. King, these are one of the best segments we have here every week on. Oh, oh thank you. Thanks. I love it. Thank you so much. I mean, every week you deliver a very powerful message, and I think it needs to be heard. And I, I know that we've all kind of, went through some tough patches and we've went through some situations where we didn't know how to handle ourselves. And I think this is perfect where now we're, we're going to, we're going to know what to do. So thank you for that. It's Kay my pleasure. Okay. Thank you, sir. Caitlin, you have a question? Yeah. Scott King's my best friend. <laughs> yes. We're all best friends. That's why we hang out together yeah, every I Thursday. I want sometimes I'm a person. Sometimes I'm going to meet you in sometime. We're going to make I'd that I'd love happen. that. I'd be excited for that. Alex, your hand is up, man. Uh, 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 Aaron uh, sent me a, a message uh, to me. Say, uh, uh, yeah, do you get my message, Aaron? <laughs> I get your message <laughs> Thursday, Alex, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin, too. Thank you. It was very nice to say, and I look forward to meeting all you guys, okay? Hey, how many – uh, where is everybody from, by the way? I don't think I've ever asked that. Can I, do we have time for this, Aaron? Can I ask where everyone's yeah, from? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Crystal, you're, you're the closest up here on the top of the screen. You're first. Where are you from? In the country. <laughs> what pro hey, Crystal, what program do you attend? Which PALS program do you go to? Heath. Heath. Thank you. Heath, Heath Ohio? Yes. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Okay. Alex, I see you down there. You're ready. Uh, I'm in Strawberry Farms. What, what city? I'm not Alex? sure. Uh, Columbus, Ohio. Neat. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yes, I'm ready. Um, I'm, from I'm from Winterville, but I go to Centerville, uh, Pals. Greenfield, but you go to Greenfield, but you go to Centerville. Centerville, I live in Wintersville. Did you say Thornville? Li no, lives in Wintersville and goes to our Steubenville program. Oh, Steubenville. Okay, okay. Wow, you, you guys, you know what's neat is uh, we're all from all parts of the state. Man, I feel really close to you guys here. Okay, I'm ready for you. I live in Gehanna. Then you guys are you guys are close. Columbus and Gahanna, you guys are close up there, you and Alex. I go strawberry farms, pals, Alan. Okay. Well, I'd love to come and meet you guys in person. And we can have all this fun together. Now look, I know I know you gotta go. But I just I look forward to this when we hang out, so you know. Take your time. Next week. I, I don't think anyone's in a hurry, so you're good. <laughs> next week. Next week, we're going to be talking about, like I say, our helmet and my notes. I think I'm still in protecting ourselves next week. So it might be the week after. Anyway, I'll, I'll go through my notes. But we're going to need to bring uh, like a pillow from our bed, okay? Bring it anyway. If we use it, we use it. And if we don't, I think it might be the week after. But I want you to bring it anyway. And... I think, I think that's about it. Okay, I've ran you over time a little bit there today. Does anybody have any questions or anything they want to share? I, I think we got it all out, Scott. So thank you, sir. 
We um, haven't even said goodbye, and I miss you guys already. So, okay. Hey, and Caitlin, I, I did see you when you were giving your answers. You were using sign language stuff, and, and I saw uh, more and a couple others. So, well done with that. I love seeing. Yeah, yeah. I picked up on that. Excellent. So, very well done. All right. Well, that concludes our day here on Pals TV, everyone. As always, it's a blast here, and we'll be back tomorrow morning to have one more show before a long weekend. So come back and join us in the morning. We thank Mr. King again for joining us from Gallia County. Every week he gives us a very powerful message. So thank you, sir. Everyone else, have a great night. Yeah.